Everybody knows the Ford LTD is a family car. Well, how fast does your family like to go? We think this week's car is really something special because it's a 1965 Ford LTD, which is a uh, kind of a luxury car. The LTD moniker was new for 1965, and it stands for Luxury Trim Decor, uh, and not Limited. Uh, I guess back in 65, Chrysler had the trademark on the term Limited, so Ford just called this the LTD, and kind of behind the scenes was the, uh, the Luxury Trim Decor. Uh, the other cool thing about this one in particular is that it is one of three made with the 427 dual quad R code V8 under the hood. Uh, it's also backed by a top loader four speed and a 411 rear end. So when you look at the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of Ford Galaxies and LTDs that were made in 1965, it's pretty amazing to think that only three of them escaped the factory with the 427 R code motor and the four speed. Uh, and the fact that this also has that 411 rear gear means that whoever ordered this car really just wanted to go fast. I mean, this is a drag race drive line. The engine's 11 to 1 compression. Of course, it has the two four barrels on a medium riser aluminum intake manifold. It's got a solid lifter camshaft. Ford rated this at 425 horsepower and 480 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, and again, through a four-speed and a 411 rear end, it means it's a drag strip car. I mean, that's what it's for. Uh, I don't know the actual history on this car, uh, why it was ordered or who ordered it, or if it even was special ordered. I mean, it's conceivable to think that Ford just made this car as a regular production line deal, but I don't really think so. Uh, I think because of the bright Rangoon red exterior and the black interior and the hopped up drivetrain, that somebody knew what they were ordering when they picked this one out. The LTD package had its own set of trim outside the badges all say LTD uh, and it was a luxury model so inside it's got a cloth interior which is really really soft. You know they, they say it all the time it's like driving around your living room. This car definitely was. It's a Ford LTD you know a full-size family car. Even the back seat's got enough room to put your buddies or your kids or whatever you want to put back here and it's luxurious inside and very comfortable but what's that in the front? A four-speed handle? This car was built on January 9th of 1965, and it was built in the Chicago Ford assembly plant. And uh, that plant was really popular in World War II. They made uh, armored transport vehicles for the war effort. Then it switched over to make Ford pickup trucks, which it did up until about 64. And then uh, it made these full-size family cars. And all the way up into the 80s, uh, this was the plant that was chosen to be the home of the Ford Taurus and Mercury Sable. It's kind of funny to think that the Ford Taurus economy car, uh, you know, was the offspring of a tire shredding monster like the 65 R code LTD. Well, that four speed handle on the floor is a tip off to the fact that this is not your average 60s family car. In fact, this one is one of three factory built Ford LTDs to come out with a 427 side oiler in the R code trim. So it's got dual quad carburetors on top of a medium rise intake manifold, solid lifter camshaft, high compression, makes 425 horsepower. So can you fit your family in it? Absolutely. But then you can go racing and win. One cool thing about this R code program is that Ford called on an outside specialist, a guy named Ack Miller, to help him out with the Ford high performance engine program. When this car was built, Ack Miller was still vice president of the NHRA, and he was called upon by Ford to help him out with this 427 and 289 high performance engine program. And Ack Miller was a longtime racer. He's raced everything from Bonneville to NHRA to different road racing and off road stuff. So they called on him to kind of pick some of the parts and pieces to make these engines as powerful as they were and uh, Ford printed a pretty neat brochure that outlines every single part number in the R code package and all of the engine piece parts and all of the things on the car, the transmission, the shift linkage, all the stuff that went into making a high performance Ford. And one thing that is really unique is that there's a paragraph in this brochure that actually says 
If you want help with your Ford race car, you can write a letter and contact Act Miller directly and he'll help you out. That's something you would not see today. The condition of this car is amazing. It's my understanding that it's been restored to some degree and it's showing a few pieces that are not factory original, nothing that wouldn't unbolt uh, to be 100% correct. Uh, in fact, as it sits right now, it's wearing disc brakes and the plans are to convert it back to its original drums, which kind of seems like going backwards. But when there's only three of these ever built and who knows how many left in existence, I think it's important to keep at least one in its perfect original condition. Cars like this, one of three LTD is what makes the Brothers Collection so neat because there's such a variety, you never know what we're going to show you next time. But if you watch our website at musclecaroftheweek.com, you can see more pictures of this car and all the others. Don't forget the Facebook page, and you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, and you'll never miss an episode of Muscle Car of the Week.